Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best gaming laptops. Starting at number 5. Asus ROG Strix Scar. Crunchers you'll find in a gaming laptop. That makes this Asus ROG Strix Scar 17 one of the most powerful gaming laptops I've ever tested. But some of the shine has been taken off because I can't shake the feeling AMD machines still seem to be tier 2 in the eyes of their makers. Which is a shame because this is a really impressive gaming laptop that makes the ridiculous MSI Titan look even more dumb. The Asus is near $2000 cheaper and outperforms it in practically every metric that matters. This is the most affordable RTX 4090 machine I've seen in this generation, so I guess in some regards being a seen as a lesser light in laptops terms has maybe served this AMD-powered system after all. It's also one of the best performing RTX 4090 machines I've seen, which is a double whammy that makes it difficult to recommend any of the rest. Coming at number 4. Razer Blade 15. The same gorgeous CNC milled aluminum chassis as its predecessor, only this time it can house one of Nvidia's latest RTX 40 series GPUs and an Intel 13th Gen Core i9 CPU. When we played with the Razer Blade 15 advanced with a 10th Gen Intel chip and RTX 3080, 95W, GPU inside it. And we fell in love all over again. The chassis hasn't changed since then, it just now ships with even more powerful components. We've also since then tried out the larger Razer Blade 17 with an RTX 3080T humming away inside it, alongside one of those tasty 12th gen chips and still stand bewildered by what will fit inside such a compact and neat chassis. That said, you will get some throttling because of that slimline design, and even on the larger Blade 17 the battery life can be a little slim, but you're still getting outstanding performance from a beautiful machine. The Blade 15 isn't the lightest gaming laptop you can buy, but £5 is still way better than plenty of traditional gaming laptops, while also offering similar performance in specs. That heft helps make it feel solid too. It also means the Blade 15 travels well in your backpack. An excellent choice for the gamer on the go, or if you don't have the real estate for a full-blown gaming desktop and monitor. At number 3. Asus ROG Zephyrus. We checked out the version with AMD's RX 6800S under the hood, though there is an option for an RX 6700S for a chunk less cash. Arguably, that cheaper option sounds a bit better to us, as the high-end one can get a little pricey and close in on the expensive but excellent Razer Blade 14. It's not helped much by its 32GB of DDR5-4800 RAM in that regard, though we do love having all that speedy memory raring to go for whatever you can throw at it. At its heart is the AMD Ryzen 6900HS. That's one of the top chips from AMD's Ryzen 6000 series, but not its best and brightest, though you're really fighting over boost clocks and not much else when it comes to the tippy top of the red team's mobile processors anyways. It delivers 8 cores and 16 threads of the Zen 3 Plus architecture, capable of boosting to 4.9 GHz, which it actually does on occasion, so that's more than acceptable by me. Number 2 of my list. Gigabyte G5, 2023. Surprising considering the price hike we usually see for brand new gaming laptops. But you'll find no fad features or unnecessary add-ons to push up the costs here. Just a straightforward, well-built, and cleverly provisioned gaming laptop for pound one 200 opens a new tab, or dollar one 100 in the US for a similar, if only slightly worse, model that delivers plenty of frames and games. Let's start with the star of the show here, the RTX 4060. We're yet to see Nvidia's RTX 40 series drop to this level on desktop, but even this budget-friendly card delivers superb 1080p performance befitting the G5's 1080p 144Hz display. That's partially down to the power gigabytes prepared to pump into the GPU inside this machine, 75W. And number 1. Lenovo Legion Pro. 
It's a machine that comes in at a price point that makes the rest of the high-end RTX 40 series look even more ridiculous on their lofty $4,000 plus purchase. And it's the RTX 4080 model that has us impressed in testing, offering the sort of gaming performance that has me questioning why anyone would want an RTX 4090 machine. The Legion Pro 7i runs its RTX 4080 at a 150 WT GP, which is the effective maximum of the GPU. Though manufacturers are given an extra 25W leeway to bulk up their own specs if they feel they can push a little extra juice through their own systems. Lenovo hasn't gone down that route, the Legion Pro knows what it likes, and it likes the 150WT GP and no more. The Legion Pro 7i uses a 13th gen Intel chip, the Core i9-13900HX. If, like me, you were to assume that would essentially be a slightly higher clocked version of the Core i9-13900H ASUS has used in its excellent Zephyrus M16 gaming laptop, then you'd be wrong. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.